open. Pass it. Give me the ball. I'm open. Pass it. Pass it. Come on, pass the ball. Pass it. I'm open. What was that? In a gym very much like this one, I was sitting in the stands on January 22nd, 1999, watching my son Adam play basketball when he suddenly collapsed and died. In his case, there was no defibrillator on site, and as a result, he was denied the best pass possible chance for survival. The hope through Project Adam is that the next child who suffers an incident like my son Adam will in fact have the best chance of survival where my son did not. Xavier, Xavier, you all right? Brian, I need to have you go to the office. Have him call 911. Anushka, you need to get the AED, please. Sudden cardiac arrest can strike anyone of any age, anywhere, at any time. 350,000 people in this country will be the innocent and often exactly. unknowing exactly. victims of sudden cardiac arrest this year. Mrs. Brown makes the will you, please? or someone you love, be one of the victims? Hi, this is Mrs. Hack from Audubon Middle School, 3300 South 39th Street. We have a student down in the gym class. Knowing how to recognize and respond quickly in a cardiac emergency is crucial in helping to give victims of sudden cardiac arrest the, the best chair. chance Place of survival. Place exactly as shown in the picture. Press firmly to patient's bare skin. Shock advised. Stay clear of patient. Press the flashing orange button now. Shock delivered. Xavier, can you hear me? You're going to be okay here. He uh, had a cardiac arrest and gave him shock it. Tell us a little bit about the story of how this sure. got going. Well, Morgan has a very special story. She actually has two birthdays, right? Three years ago, we were at Lambeau Field. We had dinner and then we played in the gaming area. And afterwards, we were getting ready to leave and Morgan suddenly collapsed. And my husband, Patrick, went over and turned her over and he saw that she was blue. Yes. Uh, she wasn't breathing, uh, she had no heartbeat. And so I ran over and uh, he looked at me and he said, we need to do CPR. She was three years old, she's very tiny and, yes. and I couldn't imagine doing CPR in a on my little girl, but you have to do what you have to do. So I started CPR and uh, Patrick was yelling for an AED. And one came, we had a wonderful Andy from uh, Packers Security came with an AED yeah. and he put the patches on her chest. Defibrillator commonly known A defibrillator, known as, right. yeah. exactly. Uh -huh. And the AED read her heart and yeah. the heart was not beating properly. So it said that a shock was indicated. Yeah. So he pressed the button, it shocked her. And the next thing you know, she was screaming, and it was the most wonderful sound you ever heard. And she's okay today. She and she's and okay today. Wow, amazing. So the defibrillator obviously became a key thing. Mm -hmm.